Hi there and welcome back to my channel where I dive deep into the cryptocurrency trading strategies to help you become a more informed and efficient trader. Today I'm exploring a frag trade strategy known as Rally version 1 of a coder called Rally Panos. All credits go to the author of the code, I'm just a guy who shows his backtest results on the YouTube here. Now, whether you're new to trading bots or looking to refine your existing strategies, this session has some valuable insights of which I hope you can use for refining your own trading algorithms. Let's discuss the strategy code and the intentions of it. After we come across the mandatory settings for use with the FragTrade trading bot, like the loading of libraries, defining hyperoptimal buy and sell space parameters, the ROI table and the stop loss settings, and some more protection and buy slash sell settings here, we come to the time frame. Now the Rally version 1 is a dynamic strategy initially designed for the 5 minute time frame, with the help of a 1 hour informative time frame so it seems. The custom stop loss is designed to cut losses quickly if a trade isn't performing as expected. Specifically if a trade's profit is less than 0.1% after 140 minutes from the trade's opening, the strategy forces a stop loss at a 0.5 loss to prevent further downside risk. This method helps manage losses proactively, ensuring that unsuccessful trades are exited early to preserve capital. It leverages multiple indicators to make precise entry and exit decisions. And it also focuses on combining short-term price movement with various technical indicators to optimize buy and sell signals. Now, firstly, the strategy employs the exponential moving averages and a simple moving average to determine the market trend and potential reversal points. It uses these in conjunction with the whole moving average for additional trend confirmation. Next, the relative strength index or RSI is utilized in two forms, fast and slow, to gauge the momentum and identify overbought or oversold conditions. It also incorporates an Elliott Wave Oscillator calculated from two different EMAs to help in recognizing price momentum at the end of certain price patterns. Some of these indicator settings can be adjusted to fit the pair's behavior well by using hyper-optimization. However, using this will also add bias called curve fitting to the performance results of the backtest, since it tries to fit the past extremely well creating the danger that these settings will not match uh, the possible changes in character of the pairs you will use. So please use this with caution. Now let's now talk about the buy and sell signals here. For buy signals this uh, strategy looks for conditions where the price is below a specific EMA and SMA, indicating a potential undervalued state. It also checks the fast RSI. Uh, if it is below a certain threshold to ensure it is not entering during overbought conditions. And the strategy also employs an Elliott Wave Oscillator value to determine the right momentum before committing to a buy. This ensures the strategy buys into strength rather than weakness. And there are also multiple buy conditions configured, uh, here each set with its specific buy logic. And this means also that the strategy can buy under certain set different circumstances and it can also make the algo more agile to changing markets. Now the same counts for the sell signals here. These sell signals are generated when the price moves above a certain moving average threshold and the fast RSI indicates a shift from the slow RSI which can suggest a potential overbought condition and a good point to take profits. And you can see here that there are two sell conditions configured, each with their own tiny differences. Now of course I have tested this algo with my standardized way of testing to see how the hypothetical performance look and what the performance is uh, compared to the other trading strategies I tested earlier. The cumulative wins, draws and losses chart reveals that the number of winning trades does grow over time which is a positive sign. However the cumulative profit line flattens out significantly towards the latter part of the chart suggesting that the strategy may not be capitalizing on winning trades efficiently uh, or that it's giving back a lot of gains during the losing trades. The drawdown analysis plot exhibits periods of relative high drawdown with the most severe drawdowns occurring around the bull market peak of 2021. 
you can see that the average drawdown hovers around 3.25%. These spikes here, that go well beyond the average, indicate that the strategy may not be consistently managing risk effectively. And this could be a red flag for potential users of the strategy, as large drawdowns can significantly impact the trading account, especially if these occur in rapid succession. And here, this mean profit loss plot underscores the strategy's inconsistency. There are periods where this strategy is very profitable, but they are also divided by the weeks that have significant losses. The plot shows also that while the strategy is capable of capturing gains, it does not so do it reliably over time. And this could also suggest that the strategy is sensitive to market conditions and might require additional safeguards or adjustments to improve its consistency. These win rate and profit distribution box plots represent a clearer picture of the strategy's performance. The win rate appears to be favorable, however a good win rate does not necessarily translate to higher profits, as is evident from the profit distribution plot. The profit distribution exhibits uh, several outliers which indicate substantial losses, signifying that the strategy could be prone to large infrequent negative trades that could erase a significant portion of the gains. This overview of all the performance indicators also show that this strategy may not stop the charts in every category. It holds its own with a respectable win rate and a clear indication that the strategy has moments where it shines. But when we consider metrics like the Kelmar, Sortino and Sharpe ratios, it's important to remember that these are just one piece of the puzzle. In real-world trading, a strategy can sometimes diverge from backtest metrics, and that's why it's always important to do a forward test first. But with some refinement and some active management, I think that this algorithm has the potential to climb the ranks even more. And I think that with the right tweaks and careful approach to risk management, there is a potential to unlock even greater performance and reliability from this algo. So, with these results on the 15 minute time frame, I can argue that I have found another trading algorithm that could be well suited for use in an automated trading bot. Its scores uh, currently put this trading strategy on a proud third spot of the current strategy league. But again, be aware that this is just a theoretical exercise and real world trading should only occur if you do your own rigorous testing on your own setup and also after a reasonable period of forward testing. Only after good results in these situations, you can carefully think about putting real-world money on the line with manual or real-world trading with this algo. So, this is it for this video, I want to thank you for viewing, and if you are using or testing this algo as well, then I'd really like to know your findings as well, and you can put these in the comment section below. Furthermore, I want to ask you to click the like button, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell icon to get noticed on new videos. All the files, backtest plots and uh, other backtest output I have uh, is available on my Patreon site. And to all my patrons, a very warm thank you for being a patron. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.